Wow, okay, wait, hold on. This is giant. Wow, how did they get so big? God. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Mo Creatures update for uh, better wyverns and a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. They are freaking huge. It's version 1. Point, ooh, no, 5.1.5. Yeah, 5.1.5. Yeah. Um, Jesus. <laughs> So, um, the last update was the Wyvern update, and the Wy we, we can see we have the Wyverns here that we used in that video, and they're old, but they're still cool. And they added in a whole new tier of Wyverns, called Tier 2 Wyverns, that all involve this type of Wyvern, which is called the Mother Wyvern. Yes, and it was so painful to get an egg. Yeah. Because what you have to do is, uh, my Mother Wyverns only spawn in the Wyvern lair, so you gotta take a little trip with your Wyvern portal staff. And then find one guy that looks like this. They're red. Yeah, they look. They're supposed to be a lot bigger, but whenever we found any in the wyvern layer, they were small and red. So it took us forever to find one because they're rare. So if don't don't give up if you're looking for one. Because <laughs> we almost did. It'll then, be tempting. Uh, you have to kill it, and you get a one in three chance of getting a mother wyvern egg. Yeah. So, and if you do get lucky enough to get a mother wyvern egg, you can bring it back, and then you can tame it like um, any other wyvern by putting it down and putting a bunch of torches around it. And then you get mother wyverns, which are these guys, and they're gigantic, and they're still red, and they're tamed. And, and for this update, you are able to create three different versions of the mother wyvern. Yeah. First, we have the undead wyvern, which takes one essence of undead, and we're gonna do this transformation live. Yeah. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's basically like horses. This is the second tier of wyverns, just like there's the second tier of horses, and you have undead horses and stuff, and it's the same thing with wyverns. So you got the undead guy right here. Looks pretty cool. You got the dark wyvern, essence of darkness it takes, and it's black now. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so do these actually do anything? Um, I don't believe so. They might change, like, the speed or something. Yay, and that's the light wyvern. And the light one is supposed to be the rarest one, just because I think the essence of light is the hardest it's essence to make. Oh yeah, I'll have the uh, crafting recipes in the corner. I believe, unless I got got it wrong, but yeah. So then you got these three types of wyverns, and they're all cool and stuff. So, um, and for some reason, there's not a fire one. It just doesn't work with essence of fire. Oh, you're writing it. Ooh, I didn't mean to. I tried using the essence of fire on it just to make sure I wasn't wrong. Oh. And then, God, he's so big. Yeah. So, yeah. oh God, he's huge! I know. Right. Do you guys? Do you want to take these guys out and see it. how fast they are to see if there's like an actual difference? I'll race you. <laughs> I'll take the I'll, I'll take the light one. Oh God, they're really fast, dude. And I'm, Ow! I'm lagging it so fast. Get me out, <laughs> Ethan! He's Ooh. taking off without you. Well, I'm on him. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh God. Oh, you're not on yours either. I, <laughs> wow, so... they're significantly fast. I know. God. And uh, F to get off. Yeah, F to get off like horses. Uh, F. Oh, yeah, and if you want to make them stay, you can use whips on them, which we should probably do just so we don't lose I them. I will do it now. If you hit it on the ground, any wyvern that's near you will, uh, like, sit down. If you do it just on one, just that one will sit and stand. Oh, hey, that's cool! Yeah. <laughs> They're doing a dance! Uh, what's next on the list, D, for this update? Alright, so then, after Wyverns, they also added in, um, this isn't new to this update, it was in the dev releases and stuff before this, but there's a teleportation staff and a builder hammer, which you can use for different things that we will show you. So, we couldn't find the crafting recipes for them, they're not anywhere. So, <laughs> I don't know how you can get them unless you're in creative, but they're pretty cool. So, so for the teleporting staff, it's just literally any block that you see in the <laughs> distance. It goes really far, like I could go to that tree over there. And you just right click and it brings you to that place. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sick. And I don't remember exactly, but I feel like it was like 150 blocks away or something like that. Okay. And uh, for the builder hammer, it's it's basically a tool to help you build stuff. And it, the first block that you have in your inventory, like mine stone right now, you can place it really far away. How is it? Is, is there a specific block length? Um, I don't remember exactly, okay. uh, but if you, like, you can place oh, it. Oh, it's, like, really far. It's pretty it much makes... the same as the teleportation staff. Yeah, so it's basically easier to make things that are farther oh, away. Yeah, I think it might be 150, too. Yeah, that would make sense. I'm so them all up there. <laughs> yeah, so those are those. So they're kind of tools that, I guess, help you get around and help you build stuff. Yeah, yeah. Creative, at least. And then, other than that, you also got, oh, and if you want to know how to make the Wyvern portal staff, it's here again. Yeah. Just, just in case. Yeah. Just there. Yeah. So then, other than that, they added in moths, which we have right here. The moth cage. 
yes, <laughs> they, there's no eggs for them, so I kind of had to encase as many as I could in glass. Mm -hmm. But um, the cool things about mass moths are that they're attracted to torches, kind of like actual moths. So if you put down a bunch of torches, they'll fly towards them and hang out by them. Right. So they're pretty cool. And we got some roaches. They're just cool. Yeah, they're they're weird. They like fly around almost. Oh really? Are they yeah. like insects? Or are they like one shots pretty much? Yeah, they're one shots. Okay. So th these things don't do anything. They're just here like the other insects, but they're still pretty cool. Cool. And then other than those guys, you also have crabs, and they escape like hell. So that's why we have the glass on top of the ca the fences and everything because they climbed over the. Oh fences. God! Did he just? They're climbing. Yeah, they climb. What the heck? So they're, they're like really it's cool. Weird, but you got blue ones and red ones in varying sizes. Yeah, and then um, and if you kill them, you just you, there's a fence gate right here. Oh, oh, damn it! Why didn't I see that? Uh, kill them, you get some crab meat, and basically what you gotta do is cook that up, and it gives you a little bit of health regeneration. Yeah, except it didn't work for you. Well, yeah, so there's crab meat and cooked crab meat, like you can see in the chest here. I have both of them, and um, that I tried eating it and damaging myself to see how many hearts it would heal, but it, I just couldn't eat them. So I don't know if that's a bug or something, but um, yeah, so hopefully that'll be fixed or work or something soon. But And then on here, you got maggots, which are also new insects, and if you kill them, they drop slime balls. And they glow all white, and they're cool. <laughs> they glow white. And I believe they may turn into moths if you leave them long enough. Oh, we just said that's why I just killed a moth in the corner. Yeah, there's a moth in here, so yeah. I'm pretty sure that's why. That's weird. And these things escape like hell, too, so that's why there's glass everywhere in here. <laughs> <laughs> and right. that's oh, oh fun. okay. So what? then, what? those are those guys. Well, all the ogres. There's, and the other thing is all new ogres have been made. So, um, we had a bunch in here that despawned, but I have an egg, so I'll show you. So there's new fire ogres, um, regular ogres, and cave ogres, and they have new animations, and some have double heads and stuff, yeah, so we'll yeah. spawn some. So that's like a double head guy, and yeah. he has two, like, hammer so, things. Yeah, so they, there's really cool AI on them, apparently, so the yeah, heads... the heads act independent of each other. Yeah. So it's like so two people in one, kind of. It's really cool. We're not going to, um, hit him because we're scared. Or actually, we'll go over here and hit one. See, the hammers move, like, independent kind of cool yeah and it destroys things yep so they still destroy blocks and everything it's just uh they're cooler now so then that's the regular ogre and then you also have fire ogres which hopefully i can get wow oh, that, was convenient. that was extremely convenient yeah this so guy also has two heads and one has a really short <laughs> ponytail and yeah. one has horns <laughs> so there's, there's like different variations yeah like this one has one head right here and for some reason the fire ogres despawn in this uh yeah i don't know why it's probably because we're not on hard or something i thought but... it was in the biome or something yeah, but so some of them have one head, some of them have two heads. Ah, there you yeah, the the one-headed fire ogres have these really long ponytails that are I like, so I'm yeah, trying to get. I was trying to. Oh, there he is! is. <laughs> hey, ponytail. <laughs> hey, man. All cool. right. Yep. So those are the. <laughs> so those are the uh, fire and regular ogres. Then if Chris comes out of my little tunnel here, oh, I didn't see it. I'll show you cave ogres. That was my so and that they was, only spawn uh... underground. And there's new things with spawn eggs because um, spawn eggs used to work by um, spawning in by like the name of a biome, but now it's just um, they spawn in in relation to new uh, variables. Like um, for example, like if you spawn in certain types of monsters, they're like snow versions and normal versions. So if you spawn one in a snow biome, it changes into the snow ice version because of the temperature oh, okay. of the biome apparently. Huh. So like it said, if it was below 0 0.06 or something like that, the temperature that the um, other version would spawn for the snow. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, so if I click down here, and Cave Ogre should oh, spawn. Oh, yeah, there, there he is. So yeah, except he's destroyed. Regular. If you didn't know how ogres work, they destroy any blocks other than ore, which is why the iron on the ceiling is kind of like carved out. Oh, yeah, look at that. So they're kind of like effective oh, mining tools. Is that, what is that? Yeah, so this is a cave ogre. Oh, wow. So it's blue, and they drop diamonds, and they're really rare. You can only find them in cave systems. Huh. So it looks like he has some kind uh, of effects. He might give you slowness or something. See, he just dropped... diamonds. How many is there? Two? I'll pick them up. Uh, yeah, two diamonds. Yeah, so they drop diamonds, which is cool. So those are the ogres, and um, yeah, so those have been uh, coming for a while. Uh, there's supposed to be ogre lairs that are coming in um, updates that should be happening soon, but um, he didn't, Dr. Zark didn't put them in these yet. I don't know why, but um, they should be coming. Those will be cool. Just like there's supposed to be a um, special tower thing in the wyvern lair. I don't know a lot about it, but uh, okay. yeah. So in the future, but um, there are also small things about, small thing about birds. I don't really know what it is. Uh, Ethan kind of read up on it. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, we kind of need to test this because it's um, a little weird. But um, okay, um, the bird said, that we put in here turned into a butterfly. Oh wow, <laughs> metamorphosis. But um, <laughs> <laughs> metamorphosis at its finest. <laughs> but um, do you have a bird thing? Um, I'll get one. But um, I, ha I have them. Okay, but um, they said that the taming of birds has been changed so that when you usually before that you just threw seeds in the ground and eventually you tame them. But apparently now throwing seeds on the ground pre-tames them, and then you have to right-click on them with the seeds. So let's test to tame that. Them. Okay, I think he's good. Oh, did he not eat enough? Ah, there he goes. I yeah, right so, right-clicked on him. Yeah, so you have to feed him seeds and then right-click on him with more seeds for some reason. Just in case you're wondering um, about birds. So, um... That's, that's basically the everything. Of everything. There are a little other minor things that have happened, like, um... Um, like the egg biome thing, like I just said before, and the instant spawner has changed a little bit, so it's in a single list instead of being all confusing like it was before. And, um, that's basically it. Um, the next update should involve chimpanzees or something like that, because, uh, oh, really? he hinted at that in the past, and there's a picture of them that I have that we may, be, may or may not be able to show now. <laughs> but... <laughs> But yeah, so that's basically it. Um, woo, all the all our mother wyverns have grown gigantic. Yeah, I know they're huge, and it's raining and it's thundering, and he's huge. Yeah, they're gigantic. So if you want, if you can tame one of these guys, do it just because you're a badass. Exactly. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Yeah. Thank you everyone for watching so much. Please check out our other videos on more creatures. Learn everything there is to possibly know. Um, that may not be true yet, but... <laughs> I think we should ride away on our wyverns in the distance. <laughs> kind of like oh, the okay, wow, they are faster than the Are other. they really? Yeah. Oh my god! This is so cool. <laughs> Dude, these are totally awesome.